Well, it would look like the most popular selling CPU here in the last past couple of months for DIY enthusiasts looking to say upgrade a particular area within their build, more specifically their CPU, would be a CPU that to, for most of us, we know how much potential this CPU had. For high performance PCs, the world's first Zen 3 powered CPU. This is the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X. 12 cores, 24 threads, and a boost up to 4.8 gigahertz. It's a very special product, the ultimate enthusiast processor. And we're gonna talk about it in this video. We're gonna talk about how the most popular selling CPU is one of the most underrated Ryzen-based CPUs. And that's gonna to go to the Vermeer-based Zen 3 chip, the Ryzen 5600X, the six core 12 thread base chip. I mean, it comes with a CPU cooler, has incredible IPC, has high boost clock frequencies, right? They can boost up to 4.6 gigahertz on two or more cores. And while it does come again with a CPU cooler, right? Like you can, invest another 20 to 40 dollars in an aftermarket cooler an aio even if it's a 120 millimeter aio or a slightly better aftermarket air cooler and get even higher boost clock frequency right or better longevity from your cpu and cooler temps mean more stable clock speeds which means more stable fps in your games but here in this video i wanted to highlight the availability of this cpu we're going to head over to amazon which i'll be sure to leave a link to some of the products highlighted on this page down in the description box below along with additional helpful links to more content and other products to help you get you started or to help a friend or mate that's looking to get started with getting into pc gaming but if we take a look over here at amazon's best sellers we look at the top five y'all the ryzen is rising is ruling the stack alone here in the top five but more importantly the cpu that's kind of raining on top right now and this is you know amazon's a pretty wide-based marketplace not everybody buys from amazon but the majority of diy enthusiasts those who again aren't looking for pre-builds maybe they already own a pre-built but these are individuals who have no problems with cracking open their case or finding the right person to do it for them and upgrade not just their whole entire system but one component one aspect of their system that being the cpu and the CPU in question here, again, is the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, the six core 12 thread CPU. Again, comes with the Wraith Stuff Cooler. Coming in at number two was the recently released AMD Zen 4 on the AM5 base socket, the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D with its eight core and 16 thread. Another high-end CPU, this $450 price point. This is geared towards you know creators or gamers who are looking to get the most or the, the highest amount of FPS they can, especially in a competitive base game. And then coming in here, number three of the stack was Intel's 13th generation 13900K. Again, another high-end Intel i9 SKU. And then number four was the 5700X, still holding true and through. Again, this is a CPU that has a lot of potential, especially if you're coming from, say, an older generation Zen Plus, or even quite possibly an OG Zen 1 based CPU. But the 5700X is 8 core and 16 thread, coming in at just under 200 USD. Still not a bad buy at all. And then number five here, we have the AMD Ryzen. Ryzen 7 5800X 3D with its 8 core and 16 threads. Again, that 3D V cache given an advantage in some games, giving you an FPS boost, a moderate FPS boost in most games. But then to also round it out here, just to take a look at the top 10 overall. Again, AMD continues to rule the stack here with the 5800X non 3D base SKU coming in at just a little over 200 USD. Then the 5600G, which is a APU based Ryzen CPU. That means it has onboard graphics. It's not bad if you want to save a little bit of money and you can't go all in on a graphics card right away say when you're configuring your build there's nothing wrong with you know lowering your standards a little bit and just kind of getting in where you can fit in fam or just getting started with your build overall or just kind of getting ahead with your budget that apu based ryzen cpu the 5600g came in at just a little over 137 usd couple that with a motherboard and we're going to get into that a little bit more in this video you couple that with a motherboard that's a little over 100 usd like a b550 motherboard or previously used or own b450 or 350 motherboard right like a b350 motherboard with the proper bios update and that cpu you're looking at a well-built system that's likely going to be able to run the games that you're initially interested in 
can always add a graphics card down the road say like a 1660 super or an rx 580 something along the lines there that's still you know modern enough to have enough graphic horsepower to really push that cpu even if it is an apu and run modern games in their best possible fidelity that's mostly in the case of like 1080p low settings or 1080p medium settings here on an apu you're getting close to console like performance when you're looking at a package cpu like that but still not a bad deal again if you just want to get started and jump right into pc gaming but switching back here and again looking at the cpu that's ruling the stack here and that's the amd ryzen 5 to 600 x it's 153 dollars right now and again it's not a bad deal because if you look at the remaining components you would have to add to complete a build with this cpu you would be at just a little under 900 usd and that's dependent on things like you know your your choice of case your choice of a graphics card rather you decide to go with one or not i mean the ryzen 5600x doesn't come in onboard graphics so you would need a video card if you wanted to complete a build with the CPU and a decent graphics card, you'd be looking at a budget very close to 900 USD or just a little over 800 USD. Still not bad, about two to $300 more than the console that's worth buying right now at the moment. And that's the PS5. Again, going to drop a video on that a little bit later. But if you want to complete a build with the Ryzen 5 5600X, you can do so with a very modest budget. And then you pair it with a graphics card like an RTX 3060 or 3060 Ti, maybe even a 6600 or 6700 XT over on AMD or Team Red side. And you're looking at a decent pairing from the initial go once you factor in that you can pick up a 16 gigabyte kit of RAM for a little under 50 USD right now, going with even 32 to kind of prepare yourself for wanting more in the future would probably be an even safer bet, especially if you have the extra 40 to 50 dollars to pony up, right? Like you saved in other areas of your build and now you want to apply the rest of those funds in an area that can really truly enhance your experience as a pc gamer but the 5600x again at that 153 dollars price point again this is a hell of a deal here and if you look at the ratings at almost 20,000 ratings and this is just those who you know have actually left the rating after they buy the product i'm not the best at it either y'all but it's a perfect damn near five star rating i mean 4.8 but i mean it's like one star one one star rating and that could maybe be chalked up to builder's era that's a damn near five out of five rating. Again, with it being $153 right now on Amazon, I mean, you slap in a board like the MSI B550 Gaming Gen 3, right? Like an ATX standard ATX motherboard for a hair over 100 USD. Again, with a 16 gigabyte kit that's gonna come in at just a little under 50 USD. Factor in the remaining your components, right? And you're looking at a build that again, that's roughly just a little under 800 USD. You're not only off to a good start, but you're winning the race before you even get started. So again, if you or somebody you know is looking to make a you know affordable and worthy upgrade to their system and you know they're on that am4 socket platform help them do the research right find out if your motherboard supports zen 3 cpus with the proper bios update good thing for you is that you already have the cpu installed in your motherboard to initiate the bios update versus having to you know buy a board or go to a micro center and have them do it for you check your motherboard's manufacturer's website check to see if there's a bios update that supports zen 3 based cpus i strongly recommend that you consider the cpu if you're on a zen plus that's a ryzen 2000 base cpu or possibly even a ryzen 3000 base cpu especially like a ryzen 3600 the generation leap is well worth the price of performance that you're getting here for a cpu that's coming in at just a little under 160 usd again but looking at the best seller cpus as a whole or the top 10 i mean ryzen again is dominating making that am4 socket or that am4 platform still worth investing in i talked about that in a previous video but given how we're seeing prices come down significantly or you're able to capture some of that value, right? That's coming down with their price. And if you're looking to just get even a little bit more and you're like, no, I have about $200 I can spend on a worthy like upgrade component, or I have about 200 USD or $200 I can drop on an upgrade, then consider going with a slightly higher in SKU like the eight core 5600 X if your motherboard supports it. And if your budget supports it as well, we can't ignore the strength and the power of Intel Core's i9 series or the 13th generation i9 13900K. If you're looking for a platform that's going to offer some of the best value for your money, you're going to pay for it. But consider looking at the Intel Core i9 13900K. Altogether, you're going to look at a platform cost of about eight to nine hundred dollars just for the motherboard and CPU alone. So consider that if you're say looking to make an incredible leap in performance and you're ready to really push the 
boundaries and the limitations of your games and take it to the next level. I mean, you can do that, but it's going to cost you. It's going to run you a little bit. And then if you're more so along the lines of the creator side, right, and you create content, maybe you edit video or you're an, you're an independent filmmaker or maybe even a musician, then the 12 core 5900X, not a bad pickup for around $337. Again, you can pick up a B550 motherboard or an X570 motherboard for slightly higher end features altogether for about 400 to 450 USD. And you'd have a high end system that would be able to tackle most of your video or graphic based needs, right? Whatever the, whatever the industry you work in fam, right? Like this CPU would be able to get it done comes an incredible price to performance but again you could pick up the amd ryzen 9 5900x with its 12 cores and 24 threads you'd be able to have a good balance between both productivity and entertainment being able to create your media right create your content but also enjoy some games or enjoy said media and content but all the cpus highlighted here in the amazon's best sellers and computer processors are good chips for someone out there but they're priced beyond most budgets but the 5600x is the antithesis of this mindset with its $153.66 price point to be exact it's available and affordable capable chip that will be now and in the future given that it's barely or less than a year old so again there you have it one of the hottest selling cpus on the market right now the ryzen base amd ryzen 5 5600x could be picked up on amazon for 153 usd it's a cpu i highly recommend you pick up or consider if that's right along the lines of your budget needs and expectations that's actually all we have for this one thanks for giving it a watch i do hope to catch you all in the next one so until then be easy